Hey everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to White Sparrow Living, Luke 12, 6. We're doing some Dollar Tree DIYs and we're starting now. For our first Dollar Tree DIY, we'll be using a round placemat, a styrofoam cone, some pretty ribbon, and flowers. And the first thing we'll do is fold our placemat into a cone shape and clip it together with these super cute Dollar Tree clamps. And then using a needle and thread, we'll stitch that closed and you want to try to get the bottom opening pretty snug so your foam doesn't show once we pop it in there. And then using some Waverly White chalk paint, we'll paint it white. And you really want to poke your brush into all those nooks and crannies because I don't want any of that super bright purpley pink showing through. But once I get at least some white over it, it's a little lighter pink and it's okay for those areas to peek out. So once our placemat is completely dry, we'll put our cone inside and start adding our Dollar Tree flowers. And if you don't have a foam cone, you can use crumpled up paper or tissue because I'm mostly tucking the stems around the cone and only a couple of the stems actually went into it. So either way will work. So now I'm using three different ribbons and I want it to be more like streamers without a bow. So I just figured out how far I wanted it to hang down and then used a chenille stem to gather them. And then I poked a hole into both sides of my cone and fed the chenille stem inside. And then I twisted it to keep the ribbons in place. And then I decided how long to make my hanger and attach the other side. Originally, I was going to let them hang down on both sides, but I thought it was a little bit cuter with just one side of streamers, so I just tucked the other ones in. So now we'll take a chalkboard tag and a white paint pen, and of course you can write anything you want, but I wrote chosen, Luke 12, 27 and 28, and tied it to the front of our cone. And those scriptures read, Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today, and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? So the message here is to remember that God has chosen you, and no matter what you're going through, have faith and reach out to Jesus because you are loved, you are cherished, and you, my friend, are chosen. Today I'm taking part in a collaboration with seven other sweet girls here on YouTube called Say It With Flowers. So we're all using flowers in our DIYs. And I'll have the playlist link below and we're also giving away a Cricut Joy. So stay tuned for all of the details on how to enter. And thank you to Dee at Designers Loft for inviting me to join in on this collaboration. For this project, we'll be using a plastic bin, some floral foam, two metal signs, some wooden dowels, two wooden medallions, a small chalkboard pick, and a leftover cardboard Christmas sign. So I'm getting all of my pieces together and ready to assemble and paint. And I'm using some scrap wood from a Dollar Tree canvas frame. And I cut those down because those are gonna be the handles of our adorable little flower cart. So I took some small wood screws and screwed on my handles for the legs and I'll do the same thing through the bottom of our bucket and I made a little pilot hole at the top of two Jenga pieces with a nail and then just pulled that nail out and then twisted them on. 
And then for the wheels, we'll use two wooden medallions. And I painted those white as well as four wooden dowels. And I'm gonna attach the wheels the same way, but not until I paint everything else. So before painting any kind of plastic, I always want to give it a super good rub down with some sandpaper so that it has something to adhere to. And then using my Krylon matte white spray paint, I took it out to my painting station and gave it two coats so that it would be completely white. And then I took my cardboard sign and painted it white. And to keep some of that pretty brown showing through, I used a wet wipe and smooshed that around and then I took my oil-based black Sharpie paint pen and painted the outside of my wheels and then went back in with a silver paint pen and painted the spokes using a straight edge. And then to finish it up, I used a pop dot sticker and painted it black and put it right in the middle of my wheel. So then I made a decal that says flower market on my cutting machine using my Frisco craft adhesive vinyl and my transfer tape, which I always have linked in the description box below. And I used the font Litos script from defont.com and then I'll just sand that around the edges to give it a little more distressing. And then to attach my sign, I'm using some Dollar Tree multi-purpose cement, and I'll put that at the top front of my cart because as you can see, I've already attached my wheels, so now it is officially a cart. So then I took my metal signs and I cut the points off of one using my trusty heavy duty scissors from Walmart, but I also have them linked in my Amazon store. And then I painted over the lettering with my white chalk paint and it probably doesn't show too much because it is the underside, but just in case it pokes out, I just wanted to make sure you couldn't see any words. So then I used some Jenga blocks and some square wood pieces from the Dollar Tree to hold our dowels in place and I just built those up to fit around and hold our canopy. And we can still take it off in case we want to change out the flowers or maybe even put some fresh flowers inside. So then I measured the length I needed my canopy to be and cemented that together. So then I cut two of my dowels down so the front of the canopy will be shorter and then used the holes that were already there and hammered a tack with the round tops, also from Dollar Tree, into the tops of my dowels. And then we'll hot glue our floral foam into the bottom of our cart and start adding our pretty flowers in pinks, creams, and whites. And then once I got most of them in there, I replaced the canopy and added some flowers and eucalyptus from Walmart and some Dollar Tree baby's breath.
So now we'll add a sweet little bow and I'll have a video linked for a slower bow making tutorial, but this is a super easy bow and I'm using the fold over method. So once I get that all done, I'm gonna make little snips on each side of the middle and then I foof out the loops and use a chenille stem to attach it to the back dowel on my cart. And then finally, I added a little chalkboard pick and wrote fresh cut and tucked it into those flowers. And here it is all finished and I just love how sweet this is. And I had to giggle because I went to film this yesterday, but I couldn't find it anywhere and I thought I was just losing my mind but I found it in my mom's room sitting on her dresser <laughs> and she didn't even know this was her Mother's Day present. So happy early Mother's Day, Mommy. <laughs> I love you, I love this, and I hope you like it too. For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're using three of these 4th of July signs and I started by taping them together and flipping them over so this is going to become our canvas. So I used a little chippy brush and went over my boards in pretty thin layers and just wanting to make sure that I let some of that brown peek through and then I started painting some roses. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that we lost our sweet dog, Ozzy, on Thursday. And so I couldn't sleep. And I went to my craft room and just listened to my worship music and started painting. And I've tried to do this voiceover a hundred times, so I'm just going to do it. You guys are family, and so I'm just sharing this with you. But I'm just going to let you watch because you all know I don't consider myself an artist, and I have no idea what I'm doing here, so I definitely can't tell you what to do. But this was more of a therapy session in the middle of the night. And I'm adding some sweet memories at the end of this video in case you want to see some family moments with our little Ozzy, AKA Batman.
So I ended up liking my painting so much, knowing that Ozzy's memory was basically embedded in every stroke. So I decided to frame it using some one by twos from the Home Depot. So Michael J just cut them down for me using the miter saw. And originally I was gonna split them up and leave little gaps in between the boards. But then I decided that pushing them together still showed that they're individual planks. And so it doesn't matter which way you do it, it's still gonna be super cute. And then he painted my boards white and then to put my frame together i used my staple gun which i also have listed in my amazon store and i just attached the boards at each of the corners and then used my fix all adhesive from dollar tree along with some hot glue to attach it to the back of my frame and it's done And here's my Aussie painting all done and I really really love how it turned out. It's got that rustic shabby look but will also work for my farmhouse style and I'll see Aussie every time I look at it so it's super special to me. I love it and I hope you like it too. And now for the Cricut giveaway rules and how to enter, you need to watch all eight videos on the playlist and leave a comment that includes the word Cricut. And then the random drawing will be done on May 22nd and the winner will be announced on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and also on all of our community tabs here on YouTube. And I'm super excited that we're opening the drawing up to US and Canada. So I hope you all enjoyed these projects. Thank you all for the love and prayers over on Instagram who saw my post about Ozzy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a blessed day and remember to always be the light. Bye.